Hi everybody, it's Beth Kingston from Zyron, and today I'm going to show you how to make paper plate jellyfish with just a few things you probably have around the house. The things you're going to need are some regular cheap paper plates, something to color the plates with, crayons, paint, colored pencils, ink mist, markers, whatever you need, a pair of scissors, several strips of crepe paper, your Zyron 5 inch creative station with the permanent adhesive inside, you're going to need um, a set of googly eyes, and then you're going to need either a glue dots or a liquid glue to adhere those, and you're going to want to have a red pencil, a crayon, or marker to draw the mouth on our jellyfish. So the first thing you're going to do is take your paper plate and just sort of run your hands along the edges. This isn't going to completely flatten it out, but it's going to give you a little bit of a flatter surface. And then you're going to go ahead and color that however you'd like to. I went ahead and misted mine orange. And so once it's dried or once it's completely covered, you're going to fold it in half. And you're just going to take your pair of scissors. You could also do this with a trimmer if you have a trimmer at home. But I'm just going to take my scissors and cut this in half. And it does not have to be exactly even because you're going to be um, covering the edges with your crepe paper, so it doesn't matter. Then you're going to set one piece aside and take your creative station and insert half of your paper plate into the creative station with the color side facing up. I'm just going to roll that through, slide the trimmer. Now this one you might want to give it just a little bit of a rub to make sure you've got the adhesive everywhere you need. I'm going to peel that off. And then peel my paper plate off of the backing and lay it down on the table with the sticky side facing up. And I'm just going to take my couple pieces of crepe paper, and these are cut to about a foot, and I use two different colors. You can use as many colors as you want, and you can also make them as long or as short as you want. I'm going to start on the edge, and I just like to fold in my end there a little bit. And I'm just going to alternate colors across the jellyfish. And I like to overlap mine a little bit. And you just need to leave about an inch or so on your jellyfish. This is a great use of leftover crepe paper from a birthday party. Crepe paper is so inexpensive though that if you want to buy it just to make this project, you can do that as well. I'm going to fold over this edge right here. And then I'm just going to take my the other half of my plate, line it up, and press it down. And that's going to hold all of my other pieces in place. And if you've got a little bit of overhang, you can just go ahead and trim that. Flip it over. Use my, in this case, Zyron adhesive dots to adhere my googly eyes. And then I'm going to take my red crayon and draw a mouth. Now you don't have to do jellyfish. These would be super cute as rainbows. You could do sunshines. You could do whatever tickles your fancy. But there's my jellyfish. You can do them in a couple different colors. These are a great rainy day project, after school project, fun thing to do with your kids. 